there. Hey, you! Just gonna do a tour of my ties today so you can see what they are and meet the family. Uh, soon I'm gonna have my own channel coming out and it's just gonna be about my cars. But it's fun. Um, I don't know where I'm saying I'm gonna go. Bye bye. Hey, uh, Steve, doesn't always sound like that, oh, by the way, guys. I looked in the comments that someone called him a retard once. Are you my phone? Retard! special. Alright, so I'll look at these motors then. So we've got eight of Steve in the house, he's bought all these RCs. So let's have a little look for all of these things. Most of them are probably AS. Uh, my Hyper SC, this uh, video saw me building that. With the help of Kev gluing the tyres, which are on there now. Uh, body shell I bought in the summer, and now he's just got round to painting it. That's a uh, Proline Desert Eagle. Oh, there's Ace RC, I think that one. So that's, it's a uh, hobby wing equivalent. Yeah, 6S. Which is you know, it's enough for a tenth scale. It goes fast enough for four ways, doesn't it? Yeah, it does go silly. <laughs> Alright, next we got the Hyper 8.5 Pro. Started out life as a Nitro. I fixed it. <laughs> hey, what have you done to it? Electric. I broke it as well. Oh. Silly. Oh. Yeah. Oh my good god, what we got here? Max 6. Bloody hell, so we can run 8S on this beast. Oh yeah. I already knew that, I'm just trying to make it sound good for the camera. <laughs> that's enough cooling on the motor, do you reckon? Yeah. Is that a ripper we got in there? Yes it is, yeah. 2000 kV. Have you ever had it flat out on 8S? No. No. Throws itself over at about 55. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty! Yeah. Well, you've seen this one before anyway. Yeah, that Those one's... Big balloony tyres. That's the one that got loads of views from yep. turning into pizza cutters. That's the one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just a rustler. It's pretty sort of standard. I think it needs a better power system in there, doesn't it, you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, that one, I bought that second hand off eBay and it's not the best. Yeah. I'll just get an updated one. Is that a Gaul RC or not? The motor is. No, that's a hobby wing. Is the motor any good? Uh, the motor's alright, yeah, it's not too bad. Can't remember what KV it is, didn't say on the end. What's that crazy KV motor? That's not that one, is it? No, no, I've got that at home. That's a uh, 5000. Next! <laughs> so, two wheel drive stampede, is it? Yeah, it is. It's sort of mine, sort of my little boy's, my littlest boy. The irritating one with glasses. This, uh, this is Gaul RC, all the way through. What do you rate, what do you think of Gaul RC? A lot of people keep asking me, what do I think of Gaul RC? But I've never had one. I don't think you can fault them with the money. 30 quid for a combo. That's... So where's this off eBay? Yep. Yeah, it's 60 amp, waterproof. And it's like 3.3 three kV. And they're quite fast, aren't they? Oh yeah, but it uses the, the wheelie bar wheels more than the front wheels. Yeah. It's got headlights on there. So what's this thing run on uh, 3S maximum? 3S, yeah. It's got 3S in it at the moment. Yeah, enough for a little boy. It's enough to make it go upside down. Yeah. A lot. Next. <sighs> Dusty old Kyosho. So this is a car show Inferno ST, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, there's a few upgrades on it. So it's like an STR. Badland tyres. <laughs> yep, yeah, I keep blowing them off the rim. But the tyres, they survive, they just unglue. Yeah, all of us are actually Badland fans. Yeah, we love it. You have some grit. Um, there's a modified wheelie bar at the back. Yeah, what does that come off? Well, that's savage? A, that bit's off a of Savage, that's off uh, Kyosho Monster Truck. <laughs> Terminator Psycho Cruiser. That's the one. Oh, I remember I gave you that ages ago, didn't I? Yeah. So, we, is that another ripper motor? Uh, no, that's actually a hobby wing. Oh, right. 2000 kV, so it is the same. But that's a Max 5. Yeah. Oh, Max 5. A lot of people think this is too big for the X-Max. This crazy boy's got one in his one-ape scale truggy. It works. 
It, it literally blows every single tyre off the rim we've, we've ever tried on there, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you ever tried a tyre on there that it doesn't blow off the rim? Not yet. <laughs> so, any other upgrades on this? Well, it's got fat towers on the back. Um, I haven't managed to find front ones at the right price yet. It does take a beating quite well, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, I found that the plastic um, chassis braces, they're actually better than the metal ones, because I bend them. Oh, right. Have you, you've bent this chassis before, haven't you? Yeah, bent it back, though. Is that oh, a racer chassis, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 70, 75, heavy duty. Yeah, I've... It wasn't new when I got it and I've beaten it. When it was nitro, this was, thing was fast, but now it's electric, it's ridiculous. Is that a bit of T-bone action going on there? It is. We're no Kev, not keen on these, but... No, I'm not a fan of T-bone. I know they do a good job, but I just don't like the way they, how they look. I'm, oh. I kind of think it makes it look a bit like a Tyco. <laughs> Next one! Next one! Oh, this is probably the cheapest one you've got, isn't it, this one? Yeah. It's an uh, ECX amp. It still is an ECX amp, sort of. Any Frankenstein action going on? Yep. Yeah, it's got a completely different back end off um, Speed Passion. I won parts for 99p. But I snapped the back end off, a uh, part of it, uh, when we went up the BMX track. Near enough straight away. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, he's got these F fast track drive shafts in there? Yep. They're the same shafts actually that I've got in this one, yeah? Yeah, it's exactly the same. Yep, they fit straight on. They also do the uh, short course version, they all fit straight on. Yeah. Uh, gearboxes are very similar. Was this gearbox of something else, did you say? Yes, off um, a Speed Passion truck, stadium truck. Did it fit straight on? The only difference is the way that it breaks there. I had to make that sort of bodgy little one in there. That's the whole fun of this RZ hobby, you're just making yeah. stuff work, isn't it? Making it fit. Uh, and that's a uh, Rustler front bumper. That was on my Russell for a while. Fit? Not straight on. Just a bit of bodgery. <laughs> That's the way it goes. But I was saving the front end because I was scuffing that down really quick. So what's the matter with this thing? That's what's happening on this. I think so. <laughs> it's a pointy one. It's a broken X Max. <laughs> Next! Big boy! Big boy! It's a bit of a savage. It's a bit of a savage! <laughs> This has probably had the most mods out of all of them, hasn't it, this one? Yeah. Started originally as a Savage 21. Actually, my buddy Alex used to own this, didn't he? Yes, he did. He comments on my channel quite often, actually. Yeah. So, uh, hello, Alex. If you're watching, this is your old X-Max, Savage even. So, we've got the Badlands on here. Yeah, I can't fault them. But I haven't ripped the tyres off yet, either. I'm not, none have come off the rim yet? No. Yeah. <coughs> Even flat out in the snow. We've got some skateboard action going on on the back here. Yeah, I did have the Savage wheelie bar, but it used to ping straight past it. Ah. Oh. So that's a, bit, a little bit bigger, so it seems to uh, catch a bit easier. And what's under the hood? The just, beaten, beaten hood. Just for the Americans, they call it the hood. We call it the bonnet. Psst. So here's the answer to that yesterday's competition. We have a Hobby Wing Max 5. Overpowered. Overpowered, this thing's crazy, guys. Uh, we've got the... Puts my X-Max to shame, speed-wise. Old Vorza motor in there. You probably see it better from this side. That's the old Vorza motor, yep. so that's 2.2 2 kV, cars one. Crazy power, those motors. Uh, direct drive, so it eliminates that gearbox. What makes that? I can't even remember, to be honest. Uh, I know they're... Temporarily out of business at the moment because due to family. Oh, problems. is that is that the company that made the bits for the X Max as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I forgot the name now as well. I know yeah. I know what the make is, but I've forgotten. There is another version, another company do, but you use the Forza diff. Yeah. In the bottom, so you can have a centre diff as well, which is probably better because it eliminates the slipper. Ah, it was a pain in the butt. So it's motor straight onto spur gear. Yeah. That's probably the best way to go, isn't it? I think so, but this one I picked up cheap off Facebook. That'll do. Um, it has got a buggy spur gear on there and no slipper. Because I was just eating slipper pads. Yeah. I just couldn't clamp it up tight enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's got the machined diffs each end, the big HD teeth ones. I used to blow the hell out of them on this thing still. 
internals I kill. Yeah. Diff internals seem I've to never break. blown diff internals, it's always the ringing pinion. Yeah. Uh, these are off a of Kyosho. Oh yeah. I was actually sceptical on them. I said when he put them on there that they were going to smash off on like, the first jump, but they're still on there. Yeah, they take it really well. So there's, there's quite a bit of flex there, so it's sort of bending and bending back as opposed to breaking off. Yeah. Um, and they can take massive batteries. Yes, so I can run big 4S's each side. What, what shocks you got on here? Uh, low C, LST. Have you ever bent any? Yeah, one. On oh. the shaft. Oh, uh, right. Only one. Yeah. And that, that was a head on bash bumper. Yeah, yeah, they're probably even thicker than the, than the X-Max ones, aren't they? They're pretty big. Also, similar design is in the fact that you can undo it that end as well as that end, so you can change the shaft without losing all the oil. Oh, yeah, I like that, yeah. So, it doesn't really need the standard Savage shocks, but you know, every little helps. Every little helps. Beast. Next! Okay. That's it. All right, what radios do you run? Uh, Fly Spy. Cheap and cheerful. Well, Turnergy actually, but here's a Fly Sky rebranded. Yeah. That's got all the model memories and everything on there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Good range? Good. Yeah, having a go out of range. Uh, cheeky little mod on the bottom. Save using double A's, just little 3S. Hey. This one runs 12 volt. That seems to last months. So, what, just off one charge? Yeah. But you just flick it over. It'll tell you what volts it's at anyway, so you won't run it too low. And how much do these things cost? The, that's 30 quid for the oh, yeah. transmitter and... And how much for the receivers? But between five and ten pound, depending Bargain. on where you're from. Um, I've killed a few receivers, but at five pounds, it's... Doesn't matter. No, when you compare it to other things. Yeah. Some of the high-end radios, you pay hundred pounds. I'm loving this body, that looks wicked. Yeah, it took a little while, but yeah. It took me ages to get around to it. Alright, I reckon that's got to be tug of war time now. I think Steve felt like I missed out a little bit when we've done the tug of war versus all of my cars. So, next video we're going to do 8 of Steve's cars versus mine. It's war! <laughs> it's war! Alright guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button to stay notified. Tomorrow, we've got tug of war, loads of carnage, loads of broken parts. It's going to be epic. Who's going to win? Me or A.S. Steve? Wait till you find out tomorrow. Alright guys, see you soon.